Hello and welcome to this episode of the Diary of a Lawyer. Um, I just want to just briefly mention the new uh, action where a US judge in relation to Microsoft Matter um, decided that it can go ahead. The Microsoft's 69 billion Activision deal was allowed by the UK judge to go ahead and according to observers, the UK has softened its opposition. Now, just as a summary, the Activision deal would be the biggest in video game industry history, according to observers. The FTC is considering appealing, and the UK says it's open to Microsoft's efforts to address concerns. And uh, another consequence was that Activision shares sold 10%. Now, Microsoft cleared major hurdles to its plan to buy the video game maker Activision Blizzard on Tuesday after a US judge gave a thumbs up to the 69 billion deal and the British regulator suggested it could reconsider its opposition. The company's share urged 10% surged, went up by 10% on the day, as the US and Britain have been the two opposition, two countries opposed to what would be Microsoft's biggest deal ever and the largest transaction in the video game industry's history. And also it's reported that Microsoft shares rose 64 cents to 332 and 47 cents US dollars per share. The district judge, Jacqueline Scott Colley in San Francisco, rejected the Biden administration's contention that the deal would hurt consumers by giving Xbox game console maker Microsoft exclusive access to games including the best selling, which is known as Call of Duty. And shortly after the US judge order, Britain's Competition and Markets Authority, CMA, say that it was prepared to consider Microsoft's proposals to resolve antitrust concerns in the UK, suggesting the two parties may come to a resolution. Now, the various testimonies that have surfaced during the US trial all weaken the UK's antitrust watchdog's arguments, uh, said the uh, a lecturer at New York University stands for business. The US Federal Trade Commission, uh, known in short as the FTC, had argued that Microsoft would be able to use the Activision games to leave rival console makers like Nintendo and market leader Sony Group out in the cold and call it disagreed in her opinion. The judge said the FTC has not shown it is likely to succeed on its assertion that the combined firm will probably pull Call of Duty from Sony PlayStation or that its ownership of Activision content will substantially lessen competition in the video game library, subscription and cloud gaming markets, the judge wrote. Now the court gave the FTC until Friday to appeal the decision and an FT, FTC spokesperson say that the antitrust regulator was disappointed in this outcome, given the clear threat this merger poses to open competition in cloud gaming, subscription services, and consoles. And he went on to say that in the coming days, they will be announcing the next step to continue their fight to preserve competition and protect consumers. It said it's considering the appeal court's decision, and the FTC, but it did not immediately respond to requests if it, um, it plans to appeal the ruling. Now, a bit more detail about the UK's position is that the, the um, gaming market sales are um, expected to increase by 36% over the next four years, according to observers to around 302 billion um, based on a PwC estimate, Price Water Coopers estimate, as reported 
publicly in the media. Now, Collier's decision um, is deemed as regarded as a setback in the broader push by the Biden administration to cut costs for consumers that have also included negotiations to lower the cost of insulin medication and eliminate quote-unquote junk fees in airline ticket tickets. Uh, Microsoft president Brad Smith said the company was grateful for the quick and thorough decision. He also tweeted, according to reports, that his focus would now be on considering how the transaction will be changed to address the CMA's concerns. He's quoted as saying that it does seem like the AMA, Microsoft and the CMA would work out a deal within the next couple of weeks, um, said Dia Davidson and co-analyst Franco Granda, according to media reports. Now, observers also state that while much of the testimony in the recent trial focused on Call of Duty, Activision produces other bestsellers like World of Warcraft, Diablo, and the mobile game Candy Crush Saga are also in discussion or are in terms of a matter of um, potential concern in terms of the control. The FTC complaint had cited concerns about loss of competition with console gaming as well as subscriptions and cloud gaming. Now, to address the agencies concerned, Microsoft agreed to license Call of Duty to rivals, including a 10-year contract with Nintendo, contingent on the merger closing. During the five-day trial in June, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella argued the company would have no incentive to shut out Sony PlayStation or other rivals in order to sell more Microsoft Xbox consoles. And basically that's where the matter lies at the moment. And we shall be watching developments regarding this competition matter um, around you know, um, dominance and um, the concern by the FTC and CMA in the UK uh, FTC being the US regulator, respectively, over dominance and control of some sort of monopoly, in effect, by Microsoft in the game industry. So there we shall leave it on this episode of The Diary of a Lawyer, and we shall speak again. Thank you and bye.